guys, it's Alicia Renee and I'm back to do another tutorial for you guys. Today's inspiration image is coming from Basketball Wives Season 2, Episode 5 with Evelyn and her classic cut crease. If you watch the show, she tends to have some type of cut crease and a cream and a soft brown. I think it's very classy, so I'm going to recreate that for you guys. But why Episode 5, Season number 2? It's because I actually am in the background doing makeup for the charity event. So here's two pictures of me in the background doing work. And actually one of the models that I did, Trinity, she had a cameo as well. So here's Trinity in the background and then here's Trinity getting her hair done in the actual show. So all together, when the outfit was put together, outfit, hair, and everything, this is what Trinity looked like on the runway. It was an awesome time. I met amazing talent, and the women that were there, the people that participated. Actually, here's a picture of some of the participants behind the scenes. If you ever have an opportunity to do charity work, definitely, definitely, definitely say participate. You make really good contacts and you're doing it for a good cause. That's what you're supposed to be there for. So I'm going to take this eye off and I'll be right back to walk you through how I created the classic cut crease often rocked by Evelyn off of Basketball Wise. For the time I've already primed my entire lid with primer potion. Now I'm going in with the express chip that I showed you and basing my entire lid. Make sure you blend well. You don't want this to crease. Out of the green palette, I'm picking up that color and I'm really, really going to pack this on. So I'm using a wider C brush, or shader brush, to pack this color on. Now because it's a cut crease, I'm going up above my crease because I do have a fold here. So when you have a fold, you have to go higher to create the cut crease. Now a good guide is to open your eye and look in the mirror and see that's where it needs to be at. And blend, of course. Loading my brush with the dark brown out of vanity, I'm going to go in and lightly trace the brown for that cut crease look. I'm pulling it all the way over into the inner corner of my eye. blend of course now I'm picking up a little more brown with the bigger brush and I'm going in and blending this brown Uh, it's the same brown, so don't go so, so crazy. Now picking up that brown and placing it in that corner. I'm really kind of filling that in, that corner that I had over here. And again, I'm going to smudge this, kind of blend it in towards that first color that you put down. Now with the walnut, I'm going to go in, kind of give it a little bit of texture with this bronzy color here. I'm just packing it on in the inner corner. Don't go too high up over the brown. just want to give it a little bit of color there besides the 
dark brown and you're going to blend this over a little bit. Picking up Sahara, which is very matte, I'm going to use that as a highlight. Now I'm using a big fluffy brush here. And dust that on as your highlight. Apply my foundation and my concealer under my eye and set it with powder and also um, put some primer potion under my eye. Now this look has a very smoky line under the bottom so I'm apply the black I'm going to smudge it. And I'm going to go into the black that I just showed you and I'll apply some of that on as well. Now to open up the eye, I'm going in with the pigment by Heavily Naturals and I'm really just placing this right in the inner corner and that's going to open up the eye. With the fluffy brush, I'm going to dust that same gold pigment over the lid. give it a shimmery effect. Now you go and go in with your liquid liner. This look does not have a thick liner at all. Under the liner drag, I'm going to do my face. I'm going in with the cream hip brush that I showed you. And adding that in. She also was highlighted very well in this. So I'm going in with the cream all over stick that I just showed you. I'm highlighting here on my cheeks. And blending this in. And with the same and with the brush I'm going over the same thing and setting that and that's going to highlight your cheekbone. For the lips I applied a primer potion and I'm going in now with the lipstick that I showed you, which is Paraline. Cover up the the lipstick. I'm going in with passion fruit squeeze and covering that up. Now glue on your lash. Alright guys, so that's it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and color your world with a little more color. Bye guys.